Hey dudes, what's up? Today I bring you yet again another Keylogger, this time from Keylama. Stay tuned for more. Hey dudes, this time around I have the Key Llama Keylogger. My last video on the Keylog Keylogger has been an overwhelming success, and lots of you have shown interest into the Key Llama Keylogger as well. So here it is. It comes in some packaging like this, some nice little bubble wrap. Inside you will find the Keylogger itself. It's a nice little protective thing. You will also find a note from Doug, the owner of Key Llama, stating that if you have any problems to contact him directly at Doug at KeyLlama.com and they will resolve your issues, please do not send this back to where you have purchased it. Next, you will also find a quick start guide that teaches you everything you need to know about getting started with this device. On the front, you just have a simple little getting to know the device and learning about it. And on the back, you have the user agreement. Note, by using this device, you agree to the user agreement. You can find all of this information in the links below, as well as the included packaging like you see here. All jibber jabber aside, let's get into the device. I have already opened it, and notice again, there's a sticker stating that you need to agree to the terms and conditions before you use this device. And any tampering with the device will void your warranty. Pulling out the device, we can see it's just a plain black casing. It don't need to be fancy as it is not supposed to be seen. It has a nice USB male and a nice USB female jack to install the device. On one side you place your keyboard and on the other side you just go ahead and plug this in. Using the keylogger is a very simple process. First you will want to find the computer you want to use. In my case I'm using an old laptop and you will want to make sure it has an external keyboard. Please note, this only works with external keyboards. This will not record any keystrokes made with either Bluetooth keyboards or the built-in keyboard like laptops have. You must use an external keyboard to be able to record all the strokes. But to get installed, all you have to do is take your keyboard, you want to plug it into the device. It is pretty firm in there, don't worry, you won't break it. Then you will want to plug the keylogger into the computer's USB ports. At this time, the keyboard will come back up and you will be able to function as normal. So now I can just type whatever, and all these strokes I am making are being recorded. And that's all this does. It's nice and simple. Accessing the files and configuration data on the keylogger are extremely simple. All you have to do is on the keyboard that the keylogger is plugged into is hold down the V, M, and P keys to gather for a few seconds. You may have to try a couple times, but once it is successful, you will hear it, your keyboard disconnect from the uh, machine and you will be able to find if you go into this PC, you will see a new drive called USB drive E. In my case, it is E. In your case, it may be different. You can go ahead and open this up. Inside here, you have the Keylama config application. You have the keys. This is where all of the keystrokes are saved. And you have these two files on the bottom, which you should, do not need to worry about at this time. To view recorded keystrokes, open up keys, and inside here you will see all the keystrokes made by the user. 
If you want to, you can always save this file by going to Save As and saving it to like your desktop if you want to keep these keys recorded. And to delete the file, you can either go in here, delete them all, and hit save. Or you can even delete the entire file and the device will make a new one all on its own. Next, we have the Keylama config application. This is the application used and stored on the device to be able to configure it. You can go ahead and open it up and you will have to follow some settings. First of all, you will have to select the drive letter. In my case, it is E, as you can see here. Yours may vary. If you would like to format the device at the end, you can keep format checked, but I do not want to format it, so I'm not going to. You will have to check the capacity of the keylogger you got. So in my case, I have a four megabyte one and go ahead and hit next. You will want to choose your keyboard layout. Mine is English US standard. At this very next step, you will have to set up two passwords. For the very first password, you can choose whatever you want. And for the second one, it is highly recommended that you use VMP until that you are certain that the new password works. Because not all the key combinations work with all keyboards. So you will want to make sure your custom so you will want to make sure your custom password works before you go and set it to two of them that happen to not work and then you're up a creek without a paddle. In my case, I'm just going to use the standard VMP and KBS. These are the two default passwords for the Keylama keyloggers. After this, hit next. If you have a time and date model, you will want to set this up, but I do not, so we will have to proceed on and not worry about it. Here we will see options for special keys. This includes keys such as F1 through F12, enter, and all the keys like that. If you wanted to record those, you can go ahead and check those on. If you want to disable capture, you can go ahead and check that here. And if you have one of the ones with one of the forensic devices, you can control those settings here, but for us, we do not have to worry about that. Then you will want to hit next. Here it will just confirm everything. Confirm Here it will confirm all of your settings you use with the device. If you want, you can go ahead and write down your custom password so you don't forget, or you can go ahead and take a screenshot with the Windows key and print screen. It will save it to your photos on your machine. After that, go ahead and hit apply. At this point in time, an option will a uh, dialog box will come up. It'll just let it do its thing. If you chose format, this will take a couple minutes and just wait for it to say press any key to continue. Go ahead, press any key, and then now you are done. To start recording again and to get it off of flash drive mode, you can go ahead and eject it like you would any normal flash drive, or you can go ahead and unplug it and plug it back in. And at this time, you'll have full access to your keyboard again. It'll start logging and the drive will be gone. So no one can ever see that this is here. It is entirely invisible. As a note, sorry dudes, but it's my time to go. I know you guys are all sad, but it's time. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up for me and Keylama for an awesome device. If you want to go see me cry in a corner as usual, be sure to give it a big thumbs down and I will be sure to go and do that. Be sure to subscribe and get more awesome videos like this and stay up to date. 
You can also visit my website at dattechweb.com and follow me on Twitter at dattech11. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next one.